Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna see how to create a Go High Level automation for Facebook ads. So if you're running Facebook ads and you want to set up an automation, there could be two things. So either you're running Facebook ads, sending traffic directly to your landing page. As long as that landing page is a form that was created in Go High Level or a survey of multi-step form that was created inside High Level, you just need to create a form submitted workflow. The workflow trigger will be form submitted and the form will be the same form that you're using on the landing page where your Facebook ads traffic is coming. The second option is you are running Facebook ads on a lead form. So Facebook allows lead forms or instant forms where you can just give them the form to submit and they don't have to go to a landing page to an external website or any kind of page to fill out something to give their data. So if that's happening with you, like you're running Facebook lead form ads, you can set up an automation to, you know, bring your Facebook lead form submissions to go high level and then set up automations. So there's an automatic nurture going on for these leads. So first of all, I'll, I'll show you, this is an example campaign and this was set up under my Facebook page. So just something you need to know before we uh, move on. Facebook lead forms are created not in the ad manager. So there's an ad manager and the Facebook page. The Facebook page stays under the ad manager. The, the lead forms will be created or treated as a property of the Facebook page itself, not the ad manager, right? So as long as you connect the Facebook page to high level account, you can actually use automation or create automation for all these uh, lead forms, which I will show you. So my Facebook page already has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, lead forms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my high level account. I'm going to go to settings and now I'm going to go to integrations. And then I'm going to connect my Facebook page. So it's going to ask me to log in and then I'm going to just continue. Now it's going to give me my Facebook page to connect. And you see the magic is when I connect my Facebook page, it's going to pull up all the lead forms from my Facebook page and it's going to give me the opportunity to set up automation for these lead form submissions. So whenever there's a lead form submission on Facebook, the data comes to high level, I mean, go high level, and then you can perform automation from there. So let's see what, uh, what happens when I connect my Facebook page. All right, guys, I just selected my Facebook page here. It's going to ask me to connect Facebook and Instagram both, which is fine. Now, I'm going to go to Facebook form fields mapping. As you can see, these are all the lead forms that just got pulled up by high level as soon as I connected my Facebook page. So let's say I want to use this LF 14 by one lead form. So what I need to do is I just need to map fields. And if you want to map these field, uh, this is a Facebook lead form field. If you want to map this field with any go high level fields, that's fine. You can create a custom value, sorry, custom field, and then map it with like, what service do you need? Uh, so I don't have any custom field for this yet. If you don't have it, that's fine. If you don't want to grab the data from these, but you do need to grab the data for full name, email, and phone number. So as soon as you do it, just hit save. That's done. So you need to make sure the status is active and there's a tick mark right beside the name of the lead form on the right. So when you do that, just go back to automation. And now I'll go back to my folder. I'll create a new workflow that says Facebook lead form automation. That's my workflow right there. I'm going to call it nine Facebook lead form automation. Now in the workflow trigger, I'm going to say Facebook lead form submitted. And here I can actually select the lead form. So it will be 14 by one. Okay. Make sure you map it because it's going to show you the lead forms anyway here. But if you want the data to be moved properly to hello from Facebook, you need to map the fields. So that's a really important step. So I'm going to select this. If I don't select it, this automation I will create or the steps of uh, all, all these action steps that I'm going to create in this workflow will be executed for any form submission on Facebook, any lead form submission. But I will just put a filter anyway in form 14 by one save and now you can perform different kinds of automation so you do want to add them to a pipeline so i'm going to say create update opportunity lead pipeline hot leads 
and then contact full name. So I'm going to creating a pipeline tile or an opportunity in the pipeline lead, which I've created and uh, in the pipeline stage hot leads. And I'm giving this opportunity name, the name of the contact really. So, so if John Doe fills out Facebook lead form uh, 14 by one, uh, I mean the name of the form, it's going to create a pipeline tile in lead pipeline hot leads the name of the tile is going to be John Doe. So that's pretty much what I did. I want to assign it to a user. So I'm the user or I'm the owner of the sub account. And then I can just add a tag saying Facebook ad. So you can filter the leads that came from Facebook ads later. Mm. Then what you can do is you can just, uh, wait for maybe a few seconds you know 0 0.5 okay seconds save it and then send an email and this will be sent from you of course because this lead came to your account and uh, thank for your interest you can say hi name thanks for your interest i will get back to you shortly you know best see okay cool and now you can also set up a uh, notification if you want this will be sent from the crm all right that's it send it to assigned user because we are using an assigned user action on top so new lead uh hi there is a new lead from facebook add name email phone number so the name is going to be full name email is going to be email address from here i'm using custom values best crm that's it that's a pretty basic yet really effective workflow for leads coming from facebook through the facebook lead form so hope this video was helpful for you and i will see you in the next video